It is one of the enduring sagas of the Arctic, the unimaginable ordeal for the 130 crew members of the Franklin expedition. The HMS Erebus was discovered underwater just seven years ago, and HMS Terror two years later. But the remains of crew members had been found over many decades by the Inuit, and later came scientists. This is a story of human endeavor. Douglas Stenton is an anthropologist whose team set out to find who these men were and what they did. The DNA analysis and these sorts of things provide a new lens in a sense, for us to uh, try and understand more about what happened. It was an expedition through the Northwest Passage in search of the Pacific. The two ships, Terror and Erebus, made it as far as King William Island and became stuck in ice in 1846. The ships were found just a few years ago, much further south. But in 1848, after two winters and still icebound, the crew headed out on foot. Remains were discovered along the coast of the island. Some made it to the mainland. The remains at Erebus Bay would be a breakthrough. Stenton's team gathered samples from 27 crew members, then DNA tests from 17 modern descendants. They got one match. This is the skull of warrant officer John Gregory and a conception of what he looked like in life. And this is Jonathan Gregory, a descendant in South Africa who sent his DNA sample to Canada, then heard back just last month. We have a positive DNA match and I literally had to hold on to my seat. You know, it was... It was surreal. It was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Just as delighted scientists at the DNA lab in Thunder Bay. Definitely felt good that we, we had actually made a match after all this time. It's just a small piece of information to the big mystery surrounding what happened. There is much that remains a mystery around those fateful years in the Arctic. But one family now knows that a direct relative survived for three years in the Arctic. And they know that... Uh... Uh, he didn't die alone. There were, there were the remains of two other men found at this site. To be a Gregory, to be a Jonathan Gregory linked to John Gregory, it's an important day for our family. Gregory says it brings his family closer to their ancestors. Scientists hope it's just the first DNA match, that they'll find other relatives and learn more about Franklin's men and what they endured more than 170 years ago. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.